Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the Monday Blues, the spirit of Africa. They cross the river of fear because we are a people with a very great history. And now let's hear it for me and Miss Mutsipe on the Monday Blues stage. Me and Listen now, come gather around the fire with me, brothers and sisters of the Baun. I wish for a witness at this hour, a testimony against fraud and butchery is due. In this parting, let there be no agony. The farewell against members is at hand. No more the whispering. Let the verdict be loud and piercing. Nothing, nothing will make me change my name again. Never again shall I be lauded into war, only to be forsaken down the river, abandoned on the front line of enemy fire by charlatans who raised their hands in the air on the forward edge of battle to give virtue to surface and, to and token reformation. No, I stand now potent and seasoned. Now I know that the world is not round. Its shape is only a prostitute of the eye and the tongue a thing of context and perspective, a figure of circumstance, and so I resign myself to the truth, that multitudes shall twine in perpetual servitude and endure poverty with better patience. <laughs> For now their captivity brags of a universal accord, a people held to ransom by the logic of a mandate. Now indeed, robbery has democratic consent and non-racial, non-sexist inequality cemented on popular sanction, its legality, absolute and sovereign. I accept, you see, that freedom is a state of mind, and so I too shall live the lie. For indeed, how does a crumb say a cake, the cake is not sweet? I am merely a cell in the biology of a gruesome deformity, in fact, a fraction of aggregate betrayal. Perhaps I should share all care for the woes and anguish of the world. Discard every particle of brotherhood and fellowship in me. All is clear to me now. I have risen from the abyss of oblivion. Convictions of comrade solidarity are romantic absurdities for imbeciles and the weak. <laughs> Perhaps I too should chase the sparkles of silver and gold and bequeath to my girl child a fortune and splendor. It shimmers, it shimmers clearly now, pure and bright, between a moron and a hero. The difference is the same, and the poet will say it again. It repeats itself like darkness and light. The living and the dead share a simple error. They believe they can deceive the unborn. Your character. My hands work in unity, like brother and brother. Like pestle and mortar mating, and each knows what the other is thinking. Like eyes, you see, each seeing and descending the same, uniting colors and symbols, images and matter become a tapestry of a common vision, substance upon silhouette, woven, woven into wonder, unbroken and simply fluid. My hands act as if by magic, they merge memory and prophecy into aspiration aspiration and knowledge into wisdom, wisdom and art into heritage, heritage and beauty into pride, and pride and uh, labor are honor. I watch my hands as they touch and do, as they fill and love, as they mold and raise, create and build, and not like our continent. Our name has become a lie. We are merely a geography, hollow and shallow, we are lesser than the kingdom of ants. Our hands are heavier apart, folding idle on our backs and breaking asunder, and each to the other, dispensing portions of blame. Hallelujah. We stand, each one of us, far, far from the center, and we gather only to spit at the core. We are not one, no. Daughters and sons of the root, let it be told, let be, let it be told, this Africa is not our Africa. We lack the thing of aptitude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
country right now. So the beauty of Angola has caused the borders to come to South Africa because we only have hijackings and no war. Okay, that was Danny. We'd like to call two powers, one after the other. And uh, the first one is Gillian. Gillian, are you ready? Let's hear it for Gillian. but I can tell. I know a good therapist, she's exceptionally good, and she'll panel beat you in the way that I would, if I could. I immediately thought that she may be right. <laughs> I was so damn convinced I didn't put up a fight. I made an appointment the very next day, and then started to plot the things I would say. I arrived at her office so pretty and pink. It was so damn pretty, I thought I must stink. I sized up squarely and started to talk. And I noticed, I noticed, a very slight bulk. And I said, I'm sitting in a space where you don't want to be. I've got these eyes, but can I see? Can't make up my mind about a bloody thing. So what do I do? I throw the I Ching. Frankly, my dear, my life is in pieces. But you can keep your theories about my childhood feces. My heart is a thunder, a bloody big, big blunder. 
But your vision is narrow, so what will I do? I'll bring out the tarot. She glared at me with an ambiguous glare. I guess I was meant to feel all naked and bare. Her throat constricted as she let out a scream. A witch, a witch, whip her with cream. And they came at me with their crisp white coats, as tenacious as a herd of wild goats. They whipped me with their mocha cream, a unified scream, and schizophrenic anecdotes. I started to laugh. I laughed so loud, they finally did it disintegrated into a cloud. A cloud, a cloud of should and should not, of what is and what isn't, and what's cold and what's hot. And I licked up the mocha cream, and with exquisite delight, woke up from my dream. Can you give her a big hand again? Just like the Monday Blues family would do. Remember this event is so special. Hello? Can I just tell you about this event? It's very special. You leave your prejudice behind. Or you deal with it right here and positively so. Yeah? I'm not talking race only, I'm talking every prejudice you got. That includes me. This is a space to grow. This is a space to grow for all of us, especially South Africans. Okay, let's hear it for someone who's special, someone who puts food on our plates. He's our chef here, and he's a poet. Let's hear it for Hendrik. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, Chiefs! The name of my poem is the poor man. I am a poor man, and my burden is heavy. I am a poor man, and my, my story is long. I am a traveler through the lonely road of life. And still I know that I will be back tomorrow. But the best thing is that I am happy. Thank you.
Alright, okay, um, I'm gonna try and uh, get things moving fast because tonight you're lucky enough to see so many artists on the Monday Blues stage, one after the other. Let's hear it for um, another version of the Monday Blues. His name is uh, Martin Beras. Let's hear it for Mike. Let's hear it for Mike again. Let's hear it for Mike Page Street Blues. <laughs> Flowers and photographs weaved and whipping poison for the new South African still faking movement in dead statues. <laughs> I mean, uh, when Chef Khatebe announced Nelson Mandela's birthday, he said that it's going to be the... I think it's going like to last a year long. Uh, and it started at Gallagher Estate, and that was disastrous. <laughs> and then there was uh, Jobek Stadium, that was disastrous. For me, it was disastrous because our history is a history of slogan. And Stevie Wonder and Kenny Latimore can't sing slogan. So, for this one day, if we're going to celebrate the birthday of a, a truly historical man, really, whatever the history books say about, like, Warriors from Napoleon to Hitler to Mandela. The one thing we must do is sing a slogan to Mandela. There's in Mandela, see a mass in go baba with go baba with two. There's in Mandela, see a mass in go baba with two, go baba with two. You meant to actually sing along. <laughs> go Baba, go Baba, when go Baba, go Baba, when go Baba, go Baba, when go Baba, when to Nelson Mandela, the Amazing Go Baba, go Baba, when to Go Baba, when to Go Baba, when to Go Baba, when to Singing. <laughs> what happened to all the black people? <laughs> Nelson Mandela, see a mass in go baba way to go baba way to Nelson Mandela, see a mass in go baba way to go baba way to go baba. The black people are still sitting down. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Um, globalization has <laughs> fucked up the nation. I'm glad he didn't blame Madiba for the fuck up. Because he never knew any of us. He was just chilling somewhere. Yeah, black people. Thanks for the chant and the toy toy. Try, try, try. That's us, man. That's us. That's us. That's us. That's us, man. You, remind, you remind me when we were growing up from the soccer game. Instead of talking about soccer, we'd all sing on our way home because we didn't have money for tech, so we sing all across the way. Shango. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to have uh, a solo guitarist. 
and uh, we'll ask her to come to the stage in the meantime while she's setting up. We'll announce her name afterwards. It's a song called Grace Song. All right. Okay. Give us another go. Sitting in my room, it doesn't matter where you sit, you're never alone. Who made the people? Let's give a grace. Who got the power to put us in this place of it's a grace song? Oh, it's a grace song. Amulike santi, moi comment te l'anio, 
baye yi bijo ya moye mese simiti abale ikale nusweme oketi na make ni meni ye skotike bodoma skotike mizua utumana ya u So when you be found in me, kemo kemo fi kila. So we for me fa kwa mi oti yo, pa chimbi omwe, pa chimbi omwe, pa chimbi omwe, pa chimbi omwe. Fachimbi omwe, fachimbi omwe, fachimbi omwe, fachimbi omwe. Baile kumiyo, baile kumiyo, baile kumiyo, baile kumiyo. Thank you. Come here,